Hello, everyone. It is Mr. Fernandez, and we are continuing our financial conversations for this week. Uh, this video is about how to determine your tax level. Uh, this is complicated, but once you get it, it's not actually that complicated. There's just a lot of steps that go into it. Uh, so we're going to dive right into it. I'm going to use, for example, for the example, $150,000. Now, $150,000 is by no means a normal income level. Uh, the reason why I'm using that will become clear in a little bit. In Canada, the average income level is about $55,000 per year. So we're using an example that is $100,000 per year more than what the average Canadian makes. Uh, but again, it will become clear why I'm using that amount. Uh, it's just because it hits a bunch of thresholds. So the first thing you need to know is that there are two taxation uh, groups. There is your federal tax and then your provincial tax. And both of them will come off of your income and you have to calculate them separately. You don't calculate your federal income tax and then use that remaining amount for your provincial. Both your federal and your provincial are calculated using your gross income. So remember, using your gross income, which is all money you earn, before any deductions are taken into account, okay? So we're gonna start with our federal tax level. And like I said, we're going to use $150,000, okay? So 150K, that means $150,000. And I'm gonna use a little graphic. Hopefully this works out and it helps with your understanding. So this entire bar represents $150,000, okay? And the reason why we're using this bar is because you have to pay more tax on more money. So, uh, and I'll try and put the graphic up uh, over on this side here to show you what the different thresholds are. Uh, and so for the federal uh, level, on the first $48,000, so that's 48000 $535, you are going to pay 15% in taxes, okay? So that's what this little area here, it represents the first $48,535, and you pay 15% of that to the federal government. Now, that's not it. We still have, you know, almost 100, over $100,000 left to figure out for our taxes. At the federal level, if we go up to 97,000, $97,069, you are going to pay 20.5% tax on that. And you can see that here in the graphic. Now, the thing to keep in mind, this middle part here, the money that's above the 48,000, you're not paying 15% plus 20%. What it means is that on this amount here, you will pay 15%. And then this amount here, you will pay 20.5. So you're going to have to do some subtraction before you get into the actual taxation amount. Now, the remaining amount of money goes up to, it's a little bit more than what we actually make. So that's $150,473, and that amount is 26%. So you can see that here, we have that last bit there. So the first amount, super easy to calculate, right? So we're going to uh, flip the percent into a decimal, which if you have 15%, remember that lovely little uh, trick that I showed you in the previous video where you just move the decimal two spots. So it's going to be 0 0.15. Okay. And now you're going to do $48,535 times 0 0.15. Okay. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to do the long way. I'm actually just bringing up my calculator right now. And I'm just going to type it in, 48,535 times 0.15 equals 
Perfect. We have $7,280.25. So on the first $48,000, we are going to pay $7,280.25 in taxes. So we're just going to put a little square around that because we're not done with that total number, okay? We will have to keep that number for further equation. Now we're going to figure out how much we pay in taxes on the next chunk of money. And remember what I said, I'm not doing 15% on all of this. It's 15% up to here. And then from here to here is 20.5%. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much money is actually in that middle section? Because it's not the full $97,000. Because we have $48,000 at the bottom. So we need to take that $97,069 and subtract from it $48,535. Now, again, I don't really want to do the mental math. I don't want to do the long way. So I'm just going to pull up my calculator and put in $97,069 minus $48,535. And that leaves me with $48,534. And if you notice, that means uh, it's almost exactly double. They're almost even. So now when I'm figuring out the 20% tax rate, I'm going to use this number, not the 97, because that's my total income. But what I want to figure out is just the 20% on this amount here, which is that $48,535 or $34. So I'm going to do the same thing as before, where I convert my 20.5% into a decimal, and that equals 0 0.205, because I moved that decimal place over those two spots. And then I'm going to multiply that decimal by my total income for that level. So I'm going to do $48,534 times 0 0.205. Let's put that in here, $48,534 times 0.205. And that, everyone, gives us a total of $9,949.47. And like before, we're going to put a box around that because we're not done yet. All those totals that we're getting so what we're getting here and what we're getting here, we are eventually going to have to add them all up to determine what our total income tax is. Okay? And so remember, we're only doing this for the federal level. Afterwards, we have the provincial level. Now, we have our final amount. And this is where, this is why I chose $150,000, because it's just shy of this amount here. So are we taking home $150,473? No, we're not. We're only make only. <laughs> Please, I would love to be making $150,000. But we're only making $150,000. So we're going to take that 150 and subtract from it 97,069. Because what we want to figure out is how much money is in this area here. Not beneath it, just this amount. So 150,000 subtract 97,069 dollars and again let's bring up our lovely little calculator and do 150,000 minus 97,069 dollars and that gives us a total of 52,931 dollars. Uh -huh. Look at it. There we go. It's right there. See? See? Right there. Look at that. I'm not lying. $52,931. So that's how much is in this area. Sorry, my calculator is actually in the middle of the screen, so I'm looking like, you can't see, but you actually can see. It's just me that can't see. 
also. Sorry for that little anecdote. Uh, so now what we're going to do is the same thing we've done with the other two levels, convert our 26% into a decimal, 0 0.26, and then we're going to multiply that by our $52,900. $31. So let's do that. $52,931 times 0 0.26 equals $13,762.06. Now, we're about halfway done. So we have our totals here. See? We have, I'm just going to exit the calculator. We have our 15% threshold, we have our 20.5% threshold, and we have our 26% threshold. But that's three separate numbers. We want to know how much in total are we going to be taxed at the federal level. And so what you do is you add them all up. What is the total? That's addition. So we do $13,762.06 plus $9,949. And 47 cents plus $7,280 and 25 cents. And we'll bring up the calculator again. Uh, I trust my math skills, but uh, this is probably just a little bit easier. Ooh, not division. We don't want to do that. Look at that. I'm already making mistakes when I said that I trust my math skills. Do, do, do. So 13,762.06 plus. $9,949.47 plus $7,280.25. And that gives us a grand total of $30,991.78. ,000, $30 so that is how much we are being taxed at the federal level. And that's important. So that 30000 that almost $31,000 goes to the federal government, not to the provincial, not to the municipal. So we're going to take a pause here uh, and just keep the federal tax information that we have because the provincial tax is a little bit different. Uh, not necessarily more complicated, but the way that the information is presented is different. So the next video that I'm going to show you will be on provincial tax and how to figure it out for Ontario. And then we'll make a third video, and by we, I mean me, uh, I'll make a third video that will show you how to combine the two and figure out your total tax obligation. All right? If you have questions, comments, or concerns, like always, let me know, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.